So yeah, game three that I've recorded, and uh, I haven't even got a double yet, so, you know, it's been going so well. They have a victory platoon, we're top tier on the new map, Mayan Runes, Mayan Runes, Mayan, why did I say it like that, Mayan Runes, and, uh, yeah. Shall we try to write a uh, negative? Left is 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 better probably. So yeah, tried to win. This is I tried to win twice already with the three shot auto loader, and uh, yeah, this gun is not excellent. I don't recommend using it uh, for grinding this tank. Um, it seems that the American tier six light tanks really, really I struggle with. I didn't like the T21 either. I mean, this one's better, no doubt about it, but not that much better. Crusader. That was some leg. And I should be able to kill this guy? Nope. Okay, so... Three out of my six shots have done damage. One was a tracking shot, so I gained 120 assistance damage. But, uh, yeah, overall, not it's not going super well. Um, I'm going to use my gun depression. To help murder that guy, put another shot into that guy. Six for nine, not bad. Six for nine is it's pretty good. Uh, their one of their victories is dead. Um, this tank is very light, so I'm not gonna ram anything, but I am tempted to. What, would, what was that shot? I could have sworn my reticle was over it, but apparently auto aim didn't think so. So, um, I'm putting the mobility to use. Um, of course, since it's got an auto loader, I cannot use adrenaline. So, yeah. The, the really stupid thing about this tank is because it has an auto-loading variant, it cannot use a gun rammer, even if you don't use the auto-loader on it. Which I find really, really ridiculously stupid. I don't know how to aim, apparently. Um, yeah. So, Churchill, front of the turret, one... Two tracks. Took a hit from the KV-1S, unfortunately. Hopefully I can... Oh, that was an audio bit of glitch. Uh, hopefully I can survive. He's going to not pay attention to me. No, I'm not here. No, you need to shoot somebody else. Yes, 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 yes. And I picked up one kill. Um, that was a decent game, I suppose. I have not aced this tank. I don't think I will ace this tank, and I don't, I don't plan on keeping it. Um, really, I don't. So, Confederate third class, sixteen hundred damage, one kill. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thumbs up to that stock T thirty four eighty five. You know, I really should uh, fix the delay um, between me pressing the record button and I actually start recording. It's five seconds. It should be three seconds. But uh, I switched to the single shot version of this gun, and uh, it's got 50 millimeters better penetration, uh, better re DPM. It's more accurate. It's got a better aim time, and it dispersion on the move is better. It also, I believe, has better shell velocity, but I don't know. Um, I don't know why I'm taking these stats. I'm sure you'll have seen it if, if I did the tank compare right. But yeah, let's let's uh, let's go and get the hell. Uh, negative. I don't. Yeah, they sound good. You know, so that one's good. A thousand dollars. You and what sounds even better? Ten thousand dollars. You know what sounds best? All the money. All the money. 
I cannot believe I did not press the fire button. I also cannot believe that I did not fix a journal, put a journal in on this tank. Derp. Get off my hill. Okay, so we forced the T-37 off the hill. Good going, KV-2. Um, this thing can fire on the move pretty well. And that's that's something I really do enjoy about it, but... Yeah, it just seems kind of underwhelming in most other aspects. So, one kill. We are winning this quite strongly. And, uh, yeah. Wow, 3045. I wonder where he is. Really do not wonder. Okay. 5.8 second reload is not bad. Um, the Walker Bulldog can get out DPM by this thing if it does, only has a 75% crew and it's using the uh, stock gun or the second gun. But the Walker Bulldog has APCR and heat, which, I mean, that that's fantastic. It's the same as the T-37's ammo choices. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to go in here and... You know, I realized that that would have been a perfect situation for my auto-loading version of this gun. GG, yes, GG indeed. Wow, wow, auto-aim. Uh, my friendly here is really messing up with my, messing up my auto-aim, unfortunately, but uh, yeah. That was a quick battle, and decent. Uh, yeah, I should be aiming better. Uh, that's what I'm taking away from this. Also, I should be equipping my tanks properly. Only 1,100 uh, damage, but it's a win. Yeah. Alright. So far, two battles recorded. Yeah. Two battles recorded. And, uh... <laughs> Oh, wow. He also says he got me five stars. I don't have... I had five stars before I began platooning with him, so you know what? Whatever. Okay, so... Top tier, very much so. Almost beautiful, perfect matchmaking, but it's not, so it's not. Um, T-37 on the enemy team. This tank is massive. Kimi me fuendo. I wish I could carry you, but I don't seem to be able to carry anything with this tank. I don't know what what's wrong with my playstyle in it or something or what, uh, but I I can't seem to do two thousand damage over two thousand damage that often in it, which is pathetic. Pathetic for a player who's well. I mean, I never said I was a good player. I'm just an experienced player. Oh, so that nice. That was a nice little miss. There's a bit of, of lag, but, uh, yeah, yeah, Chaffee just, no, I'm, so... oh, come on, I hit their pairs, whatever, this game does not seem to be liking me. There we go, put another shot in. And AFK SP. No, uh, Panzer for Ank, go SP. Uh, I will watch out. Tracks, please aim for the tracks. Why I wasn't aiming for the tracks before, I don't know. But aim for the tracks so we can get assistance damage, I don't think you know. Once again, I didn't get the kill, but I'm content with that. I wonder who hit me earlier. I'm guessing it's yeah, one of the T-150s using the 107. Both of them are probably using the 107. Uh, exactly average. Um, you notice I'm not using APCR in like any of these battles. Um, two reasons: I don't need to, and I I like um I don't know. Lower damage, lower damage, higher penetration. 
more expensive. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to think of the Prime Month changes. In all honesty, before 3.4, the game was fine. Um, then when they tried to balance all the medium tanks, it kind of started sucking. And then, then 3.8 really, really ruffled a lot of feathers. And now 3.9 is, yeah. Wait, 3.4? I meant 3.6. Before 3.6. 3.6 is when they nerfed the mediums, I believe. Revenged my platoon mate. Legging, that's not good. Look at that, the chaffy hit, I don't. Yay, three kills. Yeah, this thing can hit things, moving targets, pretty easily um it can also take snapshots pretty well because pretty good dispersion i'm not sure about the exact numbers in fact i haven't looked at them yet but uh yeah third class 1400 damage second da highest damage on the team joint highest xp on the team yeah okay so i switch back to the auto loader and we'll try again um, if we can win this one, I'll be happy. If we don't win this one, I won't be happy. Um, because this will be the final battle of this video, and if, if we do win and I do decently, then yay, happiness. Um, my platoon mate's phone is, is acting up quite a bit, and that's what he plays on, so yeah. And he's got an iPhone 7, and I've got a much older, much cheaper phone. And I'm only having frame rate issues, and, you know, ping issues. Ping's more of a Wi-Fi thing. FPS is more of a device thing, which is why my device is... I limit the game to 30 FPS. I wish I could play with 60 FPS, and... Uh, I can't, unfortunately. I love the tips on the bottom of the screen. Concentrating fire on the same target with your allies is the fastest way to destroy an enemy vehicle. The fastest way to destroy an enemy vehicle is to put one shot into the MRI and detonate it. So, uh, what do you think of that game, huh? Okay, so once again, the three-shot auto loader. Uh, I, I kind of rushed that word. I'm speaking very fast. Why am I? Will the real blank, please? Yeah. Yeah. Song lyrics, and I know that one. I don't know if he wants somebody to say it in chat, but whatever. Slim Shady. In case any of you didn't know. Okay, let's be smart about this. Took two hits. Burned that guy. For almost a full 600 health. Fortunately, I did did not come off very well with the damage trade. I had to use my medkit. Um, but yeah, it, it, I came off better than the guy I shot. It's pretty much the most important thing in a damage trade. Okay, let's aim at his hole. Okay, so for five out of six rounds, I need to get into cover. Please and thank you. Yep. So far, not a horrible game. Yeah, that heavy tank over there is going to die. Um... I could have sworn that shot would have hit, but I guess not. Okay. So far, I missed two shots out of the nine I fired, and one was out of tank on fire, so there's that. This is a stock Chaffee versus me with the autoloader. There we go. 
another three shots of damage. Um, I can one-shot him, potentially, but I've got to finish my clipper load first. Which is done, so yay. That shot should have hit, but there we go. I missed 3 out of the 15. And uh, yeah, it should have been it should have been two out of fourteen or or one out of fourteen, but uh, oh well. Third class, eighteen hundred damage. Second highest on the team, and that means that this is that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, with all that being said and done, I have to give a big shout out to my platoon mate, and I'll make sure to link his channel in the description, and uh, yeah any recent video probably but yeah i hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did so please don't forget get to hit the like button as it shows that you care and want to see more and subscribe if you're new comment down below a tank suggestion that you want to see on my channel um i i'm probably going to do a video on the m41 walker bulldog next um but yeah this video is actually recorded a day in advance i could have recorded last night but i didn't feel like it and uh yeah plus there's tournament yeah, crazy stuff was going on last night. I forgot. So yeah, uh, with all that being said, done, and said again, I have to say see y'all, have fun, stay safe, and shout out to Crimson Discord. Hello, and welcome back, my friends. And today I'll be doing a in-depth review of the T-37 American Tier 6 light tank, second of its kind. And uh, let's jump into it. Now, I have two T-37s. The one on the left is with the autoloader, the one on the right is without the autoloader. Then we have the MT-25, which I added the wrong gun to. Um, yes, this is how you do this. Okay, what? Huh? Gun. This one. Add tank. Here we go. Um, let's go. So, T-37. What does it excel at? Well, if you have the auto-loading gun, it has the worst penetration, it has the worst DPM, the worst rate of fire, and the slowest reload. But it's a burst damage. It also has the joint lowest uh, shell velocity. And, uh, yeah. I wholeheartedly recommend not using the T-37 with the auto-loading gun. Um, because 17% extra DPM with 13% extra penetration is is better. It also hits things more often, uh, single shot also hits things more often on the move, and yeah. As well, as you can see, gun handling, uh, it's got, it, it's middle ground on pretty much everything, except for it's actually more accurate than the single shotgun. Same, 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 same. Yeah, everything else is the same. It's more accurate, but it's got a slower shell velocity. And uh, yeah, so so let's just uh, remove this. And there we go. All right, so we can see the T-37 with the single shot gun. Has 1,753 DPM, which is the lowest of any single shot light tank at tier. Uh, the T21 actually out DPMs this thing, which surprised me, and the VK, well, the VK is just an amazing tank. VK is just the best tier 6 light tank. And yeah, it's got the smallest caliber gun, I didn't even realize that, the 75 and 76. But yeah, uh, the T37 does have better penetration than the other, the MT25 and T21, but the VK also. Um, has better penetration, same alpha on all of them. VK and T21 have same better rate of fire. VK actually is outshined by the T21 and DPM, which kind of surprised me. Um, one thing about the T37 is it cannot use a gun rammer, so these stats are probably not accurate. Or, yeah, something like that. Um, reload. Yes, I'm all over the place. Shell velocity, VK's best. I've already said that. Aim time 1.72 is the best. It has the 
join best aim time. The VK actually has worse aim time. But its accuracy is the middle ground. The VK is better, it's more accurate. VK actually has... is more accurate on the move. Um, this thing's not bad accuracy on the move by any means, but uh, yeah, it could be better. And depression. This thing does not actually have good ground depression. Only 9 degrees compared to the 10 on the T21. Um, so yeah. Speed. This thing can go 66. MT25 and T21... No. MT25 and uh, VK can go 72. And MT MT25 can actually go 23 in reverse. So yeah, it's it's actually pretty fast. Um, only light tank at a tier that's slower is the T21 because T21 sucks. Horsepower, this thing actually is the weakest engine, which is interesting, um, especially since this thing actually... Well, it's it's not interesting. It's just it's not surprising either. I mean, this thing's the lightest of the bunch. But uh, wait, no, this thing's not the lightest. This thing actually has the worst power weight ratio. Uh, it's the second lightest. VK outshines it in mobility. VK outshines everything in mobility except for the MT25 is alright. Um, this thing has pretty much nothing. Just nothing going for it. Uh, it's it's an average tank. It's not bad, but it's average. Credit coefficient, we don't know that yet. Uh, V-range, it's actually better than the MT25. MT25 is garbage V-range. It has the same amount of health as the other, most of the others. And uh, its whole armor is actually the weakest. Whoa, there. Um, I'm sorry if this appears. This is a bit weird, I am, and I'm repeating myself. It's just... Interesting. Uh, 25, 25, 19 is horrible. T21 actually has more armor, which, <laughs> wow, that surprised me. Uh, MT25 also has more armor, which did not surprise me. And the VK, of course, has um, really good armor for a light tank at this tier. The VK outshines it by so much. And uh, the T37 actually has the best average stats. Because only less than 400 players have played it. 1900% more players have played the VK2801. 2801 is a fantastic tank. I recommend, if you want a tier 6 light tank, to play, get the VK. If you want a tier 6 light tank to grind for a good tier 8 light tank, T49 is a fun tier 8 light tank, and that, that's it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, with, with that, let's jump into battles, and uh, I've already recorded them, and I'm kind of running late, and yeah, I forgot about this part.